please find your seat. So you've never been to Kansas City before? No, not yet. Well, you gotta check out Union Station and the World War I Memorial. Okay. No, I've heard they got some good barbecue. Hey guys, how are you? Good, sorry to interrupt. Um, so some of our passengers are not getting in their seats when I'm asking them to. Uh, one of them said, you're not my real dad. And then another said, I wanna speak to the manager. So I'm assuming that that's you. If one of you could come out, that'd be great. You think you can handle it? Surely. What? No, I wasn't saying your name. I was just saying like, I can do it. Like definitely. I got Either you. one. I'll come, I got you, man. I'll, I'll, be out, I'll be out there in a second. Thank you. Please find your seat. Please find your seat. So, so what's the problem? I've asked them repeatedly to sit down and they are not listening. That's your problem. What? You tell them to sit down. Well, what, what do I say to It's a bunch of adults back there. You can't tell them to sit down. That's insulting. What am I supposed to do? Just say, please have a seat. Okay, that's good. I did not say that. That's have better a seat. than what I was saying. Yeah. Okay, have a seat. It's just like the difference between saying, can you and could you? Okay. Good point. Good point. I'm going to try it. But what if they don't listen? That's my whole thing. Uh, I mean, that's a possibility. They didn't listen to a single word I said. Right. Listen, 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 listen. Right. He has a punchable face. They, they called my wings cute. And what you said before was... I was just telling him to sit down. I was trying to be an authoritative person. I just told him to sit down. You they, did it like that? A little bit. It's all about tone. You got to be like, would you please have a seat? Okay, okay, okay. You got a point. Now, if they get crazy, you got to have my back. I, there's a lot of people out there. Captain, my captain. Just stop doing that. He does that every freaking hey, week. We got your back. I got your back. You got my. Yeah, I got come you. On, come on. Come I'm on. Right on, there with on. you. Let's go. 110. Hey, percent You scared, ain't you? A little bit. Oh. Hey. Uh, I'm the co-pilot. I just wanted to let you know we're gonna make a safe landing here soon. I just need everybody to sit at sit, have a seat. I need everybody to have a seat, and we will be landing here very shortly. All right. Wait. He said I could have another drink. Ooh. Sir, I, I said the bar service had concluded. Yeah, the bar service has concluded. That means that the bar cart is closed. Sorry, everybody. But hey, as soon as we get seated, we'll be able to land and we'll be able to go home. So let's... Oh, uh, I, I need to go to the bathroom. Restroom. But, Drinks. No. Okay, who all has to go to the restroom? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, well, we're down to one restroom right now. Uh, one of them is clogged up thanks to this guy right here. Uh, we're gonna try to get that situated. We're gonna try to get that handled. What'd you say? Regional economics? I can't hear you. What'd you say? There's the- what? What? Are they all this rude in Kansas City? Hey. You get everyone to have a seat? Well, kinda. Uh, still a few of them back there that are asking questions. What kind of questions? Uh, something about the region's economy. I don't- I don't really know. You know what? I got this. You take over here. All right, I'm gonna need everyone to please take a seat. Uh, I hear there are some questions. Yes. What's the economy like in Kansas City? Where are you coming from? Nebraska. Well, uh, the Kool-Aid is fantastic. We've got great lumber. There's even a toy museum, lots of plastic. Hmm? How about you? I'm from Iowa. You're from Iowa. Okay. Well, you've got to try the pulled pork because the barbecue in Kansas City. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. I'm from Kansas. Oh. Welcome back. Excuse me. Can you please sit down and land the plane? Please find your seat. Every morning, as we inhale the crisp Kansas City air, we are reminded that each day is an opportunity to persevere, to innovate, and to inspire. Our collective mind weaves a tapestry of possibilities, 
each thread a testament to our resilience and ambition. Within this vibrant community, we sow the seeds of curiosity, nurturing the spirit of innovation. We believe that lifting others elevates us all. Among friends and fellow visionaries, we celebrate triumphs, knowing that every victory is a testament to our collective tenacity. We meticulously craft our vision, knowing that every detail is an essential stroke on the canvas of our journey. We seek guidance from those who have paved the way, their wisdom becoming the cornerstone of our journey. As we navigate the bustling streets, our steps echo the resilience and unshakable spirit of the entrepreneurial landscape in Kansas City. During moments of quiet contemplation, we draw strength from the challenges, recognizing that each obstacle paves the way for our unyielding spirit. Kansas City holds our dreams, our aspirations, and our unwavering determination. With unwavering conviction, we approach every opportunity, letting our passion resonate in every conversation, every exchange of ideas. In the symphony of ambition and connection, we network, weaving a web of collaboration that breathes life into our dreams. Kansas City, where dreams are nurtured and the spirit of entrepreneurship flourishes. Here, every obstacle is a stepping stone and aspirations breathe life into every endeavor. We will kindle the flame of ambition. Keep it coming, KC. 